$100 increase in the monthly benefit for all Social Security, Veterans, and Supplemental Security Income SSI, beneficiaries through the end of 2022. This will put about $4,000 in the pockets of seniors and people with disabilities who have earned this benefit by contributing to Social Security with every paycheck, they wrote. A simple benefit increase like this will improve the lives of millions of Americans and help our economy stabilize and recover. What Biden's latest moves could signal for Social Security reform efforts? People who earn more than $400,000 would be subject to the 3.8% Medicare tax, if President Joe Biden's new tax proposal goes through. But another change, one left over from Biden's campaign, that would apply Social Security payroll taxes to people in higher income thresholds, did not make the cut. That's notable because the trust funds that support Social Security are running dry and may be tapped out in less than 20 years, according to some estimates. Biden's campaign called for applying Social Security payroll taxes to those making $400,000 and up. This year, wages up to $142,800 are subject to that tax, which is 6.2% of wages for both workers and employers. That would create a so-called donut hole, exempting those above the wage threshold, and then reapplied starting at $400,000. However, over time, that gap would close as the wage base is increased each year. Biden called for the increased levies to help pay for proposed benefit increases, including raising the minimum Social Security benefit to at least 125 percent of the federal poverty level. There are several reasons why higher Medicare levies would make it into Biden's tax package, while the Social Security wouldn't, according to Shia Kabas, Director of Economic Policy at the Bipartisan Policy Center. For one, Biden's tax package is likely to get taken up via budget reconciliation, and Social Security cannot be used in that process, per legislative rules. Even just proposing a payroll tax increase for Social Security would draw in naturally a larger debate about the solvency of the program, Akabas said. The Medicare changes don't have the same gravity, he said. How much the solvency of Social Security has been impacted by the COVID-19 pandemic is open to debate. The agency's annual trustees report is expected to be released soon. Last April, the trustees' analysis pointed to the program's funds running out in 2035, at which point 79% of promised benefits would be payable. However, Nancy Altman, president of Social Security Works, an advocacy group for expanding the program, said she does not expect the difference in the upcoming trustees' report to be that big. It could advance the date by when the funds are expected to run dry to 2034 from 2035, for example. It's not going to show that much of a difference, Altman said. That may not necessarily stop Democratic leaders in Washington from coming up with a proposal to fix the program. That could include a reintroduction of the Social Security 2100 Act, a House proposal put forward by Rep. John Larson, Decon that had 209 co-sponsors in the last Congress. I wouldn't be surprised if sometime this summer there is a social security plan, Altman said. In other news, the IRS has 35 million tax returns in backlog. The IRS is facing numerous challenges that have caused setbacks in issuing tax refunds this year. A recent National Taxpayer Advocate report confirmed that some 35 million tax returns are yet to be processed and explained the long delays. The tax agency is tasked with more than usual this time of year. Many 2020 tax returns are requiring adjustments or corrections, dispersing stimulus checks, calculating other tax credits and refunding overpayment on 2020 unemployment compensation. And then there's the unprecedented situation brought on by the pandemic. The IRS is taking more than the standard 21 days to send refunds. Some taxpayers are waiting months. It's hard to get live assistance by phone, as many callers wait on hold or aren't connected due to high call volumes. So what if you need your tax money to cover debt or household expenses? How can you check the status of your money without calling the IRS? We'll walk you through how to see your personalized refund status online through IRS tracking tools and what to do if you're waiting for a tax refund on unemployment benefits, as well. For more on economic relief aid, here are some ways to know if you qualify for the child tax credit payments that start next week. If you're curious about future stimulus payments or the latest infrastructure deal, we can tell you about that, too. Why is there a tax refund delay this year? 
Because of the pandemic, the IRS ran at restricted capacity in 2020, which put a strain on its ability to process tax returns and created a massive backlog. The combination of the shutdown, three rounds of stimulus payments, challenges with paper filed returns and the tasks related to implementing new tax laws and credits caused a perfect storm, according to a National Taxpayer Advocate review of the 2021 filing season to Congress. The IRS is open again and currently processing mail, tax returns, payments, refunds and correspondence, but limited resources continue to cause delays. Earlier in the tax season, some refunds were already taking longer than 21 days, including those that required manual processing. The IRS said it's also taking more time for 2020 tax returns that need review, such as determining recovery rebate credit amounts for the first and second stimulus checks or figuring earned income tax credit and additional child tax credit amounts. Here's a list of reasons your refund might be delayed. Your tax return has errors. It's incomplete. Your refund is suspected of identity theft or fraud. You filed for the earned income tax credit or additional child tax credit. Your return needs further review. Your return includes Form 8379, PDF, Injured Spouse Allocation, this could take up to 14 weeks to process. If the delay is due to a necessary tax correction made to a recovery rebate credit, earned income tax or additional child tax credit claimed on your return, the IRS will send you an explanation. If there's a problem that needs to be fixed, the IRS will first try to proceed without contacting you. However, if it needs any more information, it will write you a letter. How can you track the status of your refund online? To check the status of your income tax refund using the IRS tracker tools, you'll need to give some information, your social security number or individual taxpayer identification number, your filing status, single, married or head of household, and your refund amount in whole dollars, which you can find on your tax return. Also, make sure it's been at least 24 hours, or up to 4 weeks if you mailed your return, before you start tracking your refund. Using the IRS tool Where's My Refund, go to the Get Refund Status page, enter your SSN or ITIN, your filing status and your exact refund amount, then press Submit. If you entered your information correctly, you'll be taken to a page that shows your refund status. If not, you may be asked to verify your personal tax data and try again. If all the information looks correct, you'll need to enter the date you filed your taxes, along with whether you filed electronically or on paper, 